have you got a capture? He's got, he's got a capture. So what was the name of your capture? Sorry? What? Blackie? What the hell? You take a chance, didn't you? You mean say midnight, you stand on your front and say, Come on, Blackie, come in! But, you have to say, no, obviously, he's a gentleman and he's very fond of them. Um, yeah. Lucky. Yes. Because cats can be very good friends, can't they, sir? Yes, and yeah, especially. Yeah, oh, good. <laughs> this dear, sweet little old lady in, in, in Dunfermline, and, and she, she was very lonely. Ah. Oh. Oh. oh, God, you're callous, like she was twice as lonely as that. No, oh. oh, she was still twice as lonely as that. Oh. Ask me why. Because he lived in one of these block of flats, these two flats, you right, right up, 14, uh, 14 flights up, 14 things. Yeah, and she, she was very lonely, and then one day, someone gave his dear little Alex a little, a, a little kitten, a little fluffy little kitten. A bit like your... Um, <laughs> and he, she loved that little kitten, and he grew up to be a lovely uh, Tom Cat Moggy. Moggy. And, and they, they were all so happy together. You see, because uh, cats are very, very, uh, very, very good friends, aren't they, sir? <laughs> but you see, cats, pussy cats don't live as long as human beings, which is what most of us are. <laughs> and you, you go to poor old Tom Cat, he snuffed us. Tom, and the young fella came off from the flat below and he said to the little, said, shall I take you down to the tip? Shit, it not, you didn't have to throw my best friend onto a rubbish tip. Oh, oh, oh. Well, he, I know, he'll take it on to the vet, the vet, because he's got an incinerator. Uh, no, 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 she said, what, what do you want to do? Oh, come on, sit in that front row of theatres and torture come in. Just, you can't burn my, my best friend. Well, he said, you can't let it hang around. She said, I'm not going to, she said, I'm, 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 I'm make plans, yeah? Yes, she said, I, I'm going to have it made into a pair of slippers. <laughs> So I'll never f forget him, him, Black Blackie. I'm going to have dear old Blackie made into, oh, <laughs> she never started it, into, into a pair of slippers. Yes, he said, I've looked in the yellow pages and I see where they do this sort of work, you see. And uh, they're called taxidermists. Now, now I didn't know, did, did, did you know that, sir? Did you know that? Oh, oh okay. Well, I didn't. I didn't taxi. Anyway, this little old lady, she went, she went to the local cab rank and she said to the first taxi driver, she said, What? She said, Do taxi dermis? She said, Do stuff cats? He said, Well, we do sometimes. We're waiting a long time for a ferry, yes. She said, Could you make this into a pair of uh, slippers? He said, no, I was doing my best. Now, she didn't know, but she hit the right man. But, boom, she chilled him right for Because this particular tax driver had been going to night school to study embroidery. And, <laughs> yes, yes, ladies and gentlemen, you might say taxi driver, you might have an opinion. But when you see a row of taxis outside the station, and you see a lot of fat old men all, you know, smoking wood mines and trying to pick winners out, but they're not all like that, no. A lot of taxi drivers go to night school to, to improve their minds. And what they do? Taxi drivers. Some they, they, they study, they study uh, financial uh, things. You know, uh, uh, money, how, how to give the wrong change. And also, uh, 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 math reading and how to take the senior groups. <laughs> and this taxi driver made a wonderful job. He made a beautiful pair of slippers. He made a fantastic pair of slippers out of uh, old Blackie. And, and this old lady, she was, she was over the moon with these slippers. She loved them. She wore those slippers day in and day out. Now, what I remember, one day, little old lady, she, she went out of a, a flat on the top floor, 14 floors, top landing, went out wearing her pushing her slippers, tripped over a piece of those carpets, and fell headlong down 14 flights of stairs. This dear, sweet little old lady cartwheeled down 14 flights of stairs. Amazingly, she landed on her feet. Now this... <laughs> I'm 
what about you, Father Christmas? Are you, uh, are you a cat man or a dog man, sir? You're a dog man. Just as well, isn't it? The beard like that. And, uh, what, about the big, what about you, the big fella? Are you a cat man or a dog man, sir? You're a dog man. An air dog. An air dog, you mean a female dog? Well, every dog had this day in a picture of two Saturday afternoons. <laughs> anyway, you, oh, can't say. What about the gentleman in the blue shirt? Are you a dog man or a cat man, sir? A dog man. Where, are, you, where are you from? Are you from Blue Thunder, sir? Pardon? Ah, yes, that's. <laughs> It's very nice, sir, isn't it, Karen? Cavern Beast. Cavern Beast. I believe he's putting me posh, isn't he? Well, you're fucking beautifully dressed. Cavern Beast. I believe last it was ju ju July. You were alive, of course you were alive. And, uh, last July, got, you had a heat wave. God, it was hot. God, Cavern Beast. God, oh. Whew. God. And uh, two gentlemen, because there's a gentleman in Cavern Beast, not a gentleman. Two gentlemen were uh, strolling down uh, a boulevard. Yeah. Uh, Cavern Beast was very, they don't have streets, they have boulevards. And two very posh men in Cavern Beast were strolling down the boulevard and they came upon uh, this uh, big dog. Always a big dog, always a big dog, big old, uh, Alsatian dog. And this big dog, in this very hot weather, well, was licking itself. <laughs> like big dogs do in hot weather. And uh, one gentleman in Cavern Beast said to the other gentleman, he said, bye. Oh, it's in half hot, isn't it? Yeah, God, God, I wish I could do that. <laughs> the other man said, I think you'd have to stroke him first. <laughs> 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 <laughs>